Hello friends, welcome back to Mustack. In today's session, I'm going to introduce a new integration between Shopify and MuleSoft. Okay, so before jumping onto the demo part or integration part, I'll encourage everyone to please go ahead and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that everyone will get the notification for each new video which is you know getting uploaded on this channel. Okay, let's let's ask few questions. You know, before jumping onto the demo part, what is this Shopify? why we are thinking or discussing here shopify okay well, how do we integrate this with our new soft okay and what kind of use cases we can implement with this this kind of integration okay so let me answer all these questions one by one so shopify is basically a cloud-based solution okay it is all in one e-commerce platform okay where we can set up our online store with with no you know hassle okay now this is uh, you know uh, on this uh, you know we can create a store and in that store we can sell most of the items like product orders gift cards and etc okay and the shopify offers you monthly subscription to their users you know uh, they can have the admin access pro you know uh, uh, to that uh, store and where you know uh, users uh, they'll get help to enter the store information they add their products even process the orders okay <clears throat> so basically we can set up online store over here okay with one click okay you can add customers you can add products you can order you know uh, you know order as well as process orders okay all these things we can do securely on shopify okay so because you know now the world is moving towards completely digitalization right so completely or virtual internet okay there definitely users will be looking for a solution where they can have their online store virtual store so that they can sell the products okay that's all about the shopify let's jump on to the integration part so demo parts i'll show you step by step so first we need to create the account you know in the shopify so we'll go ahead and create a 40 day trial account using our email address okay so let's jump on to the demo part so you can go to shopify.in you can start free trial account you'll get 14 day trial account okay you can add your email address give your password and you know you know create your 14 day trial account okay so i give my store name as a Mustack, so I got the you know mustack dot dot com URL. Okay, so let me go back and log into my store now. So I'll just go ahead and log into my. I'll go ahead. taking time once logged in okay now so first step we need to do is so you need to find few information here so let's copy this url okay first copy this url okay this url is required so i have copied already for security reason i cannot show the details but i already copied this okay in my notepad so this is the one step first step copy this now second step we need to create the apps okay so go to the app section now here and click on develop app here okay click on the develop app now i've created one app here you can go ahead and create new app you can give an app name over here so i'll just give you know mule demo okay go ahead and create app here okay so first thing we need to configure admin api scopes go ahead and click on here you can select based on your requirement okay so for demo point of view we'll we'll be you know working on customers so you can go ahead and select customer okay write customer read customer but let's go ahead and select few more okay or you can select all for demo point of view okay so i've selected few okay let's just save 
okay now you need to be very careful when you are creating the app here you need to select the event version properly so this is webhook subscription so based on your you know your shopify connector so shopify connector 1. Dot, so 1.1.2 1 dot, 1 dot it supports 21 uh, you know hyphen 07 okay so this is you know july month version it's supporting okay so you can go ahead and check which version is getting supported so you go ahead and save it okay once you save it to get the you know api credentials you can go ahead and install okay install the app install so here you'll get three things one you get the api key api secret key and this token so these three things will be you know you can copy on secured place so access token api key api secret key and this http you know yes url your store url okay so these four things are really important go ahead and save it okay now from this side you are ready okay so your shopify account is now configured properly we can go ahead and connect with our mule soft okay now let's jump on to the the any point studio now okay so you can go ahead and first you create an empty project and search for the shopify connector over here right now you're able to see on my screen but when you will be creating empty project this won't be there so go ahead and search in the exchange okay in exchange you will find it here add it to your project select it add it to your project so you can find that the latest version is 1.1.2 and this is what i was talking about this guy is supporting only 2021-7 webhook okay so now once you download this it will get added to your project and from here you can select any operation so we are going to uh, implement the use case where we'll be creating custom in customer in our shopify and that will trigger our mule application okay so let's let's select the on customer on new customer operation let's go ahead and select it here okay so for security reason, I have already configured my Shopify connector. Let me show you what all details I have over there. Okay, so you can see my URL. Okay, and this is my access token, which we have generated after installing the Shopify developer app. Okay, and this is the username, which is my API key. Okay, you can find that API key over here. You can see that this is the API key. Okay, this you will add it over there and then this is the access token okay let me go back to my studio then go to the security section and select a protocol called https select this protocol https and select this insecure option so it, it won't you know validate your certificate okay so select this option and then https and test the connection Now this should be successful yes it's successful now say okay now save everything okay now your configuration is now done so we are able to connect from our mulesoft application to your shopify app now let's go ahead and implement simple so our intention is to get the customer information which is getting added in the shopify app so I'll just go ahead and simply I'll say, okay, add the logger. Okay. Now, before that, let's configure this on new customer. So here frequency. So we'll say, okay, 10 seconds. We'll say every 10 seconds, it will hit your Shopify app and it will check whether anything is created, any new customer got created over there. If it is created, that information will be populated here. And the same information I'll just say here. Customer details received successfully. Okay, and maybe we'll print that. 
let's go ahead and print the payload okay save everything and run this app okay let's run it let's wait till deployment So I'll take a pause over here. Now you can see our application is deployed successfully. Let me clean the console. Let's jump on to our Shopify app here. Let's go to the customer section here. Okay, and let's add a customer. So I'll just give some name, okay. Let me add some dummy you know, details. Let me save this. Phone has already been taken, so I'll just say to save this. One customer is saved now. Let me check my console over here you can see that the data has been populated successfully from you know our shopify app or musoft application okay so that's all from this session in this session let me recap what we have done we have integrated shopify app with our musoft application okay for so simple use case i took it i mean i have not done any complex uh, uh, use case over here so just we wanted to populate the data customer data from Shopify app to our Mule application. Now we can use this data. We can maybe create this customer, you know, record in the Salesforce, or maybe if you, if you want to send this data to a database, you can do that. If you want to send this to some ERP system, you can do that. Our intention was to make this data available in our Mulesoft application, okay? Yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching, okay? Hit the bell icon, hit the subscribe button hit the like button and share with your friend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.